just to give you an idea as to what your cut is going to look like, if you had a normal operation, you would have something which is this big. And I'm hoping to do it together with just my four fingers, which you can look down and take a look. Through a hole too small even for his hand, this surgeon plans to do a life-saving quadruple bypass. The cut in Adeyomi Adebayor's chest will be just a third of the size normally used for open heart surgery. The mini bypass is so complex that the Indian surgeon is just one of six in the world to do it. With far less trauma, Mr. Adebayor can look forward to an early return home to Nigeria. With a smaller cut and with a very good rate of recovery, early recovery, it is far, far better for, for me. And you can go home and see your grandchildren sooner? Oh, yes, of course. I'm looking forward to that. With the mini bypass, the incision is just eight centimeters long. The tiny cut leaves most of the chest bone intact, halving the amount of pain patients normally suffer after open heart surgery. They're out of hospital in as little as three days instead of seven, back at work in two weeks instead of four, and behind the wheel after one month instead of three. I think it's the future of heart bypasses. I think if you can give the patient something that is uh, uh, less painful, then why not? I think what really drives them to work quickly is the fact that they don't have pain, and that they can get up and walk the next day and not realize that they've had actually some surgery done to them. The operation is done on a beating heart, a challenge for the surgeon who has to stitch on a moving target, but safer for patients than a bypass machine. Working through such a small incision takes great skill, but in some cases, surgeons can even operate through a hole they make between the ribs. It means they don't even have to cut the bone. For the Fortis Hospital in Bangalore, the operation cuts costs. It's at least a third cheaper than a traditional bypass, innovative health care that's a lesson for the NHS and a magnet for health tourists. Just the same way as Made in India became a very proud phenomena for the country, I think in the next couple of years, treated in India is going to do us equally proud. A day later, and normally patients would be doped up on morphine, but Mr. Adebayor's pain is so slight, he's only taking paracetamol, and he already has the breath to sing. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Thomas Moore, 